just, I really don't care. And one of the reasons why I think I've been successful is because I didn't care. If I cared, I probably would be too scared to promote people that people don't want to promote. You know, mm. it, it takes fearlessness to be first, you know, to not move with a crowd, to move alone. You know, and Facts. you get scrutinized by people that do move with a crowd because they got to make you look bad to make themselves look good. Fuck it's you, all part niggas. of the game. It's like a guy that's in high school that gets all the girls. The rest of the dudes hate him in high school. So my whole life has been being that guy in high school that everyone hates because I keep taking their girls. <laughs> I can understand that. It's not yeah. a bad life. So that's how I look at it. The, the, the price of success is unsuccessful people don't like you. Who cares? Right. Successful people don't care about what another person's doing. Mm -hmm. Successful people want everybody else to, to succeed, be too. Exactly. That's my you point. You know, that's this whole mindset that people don't understand. Right. Show us so we can put that bitch out. Where the fire, niggas? Huh? Where the fire at, nigga? So we can put that bitch out. Hey, nigga, that pandemonium. You motherfuckers don't want it. What up, G Money? What up, Jim? We here, man. Firing squad. Everybody on motherfucking deck. Yeah, man, what a motherfucking week, nigga. You heard what he said, though. Successful people don't even worry about what other people are doing. You know why? They're busy. They're busy being successful. Only the miserable. Home, homemade niggas and bitches that ain't got shit going on in their lives. Got the time to motherfucking poke holes at other people's imperfections. Get your shit together, you bitch-ass motherfuckers. Niggas is out here getting successful. If you got a hater in your life, man, get a successful state of mind over those motherfuckers, B. You ain't got time for them. That's all right. That's right. Be the nigga that take all these motherfucking niggas bitches in high school. Be the bad bitch on the cheerleader team that all the ugly bitches hate because they ain't got a ponytail and they forcing baby hair that's really adult hair on their motherfucking forehead. Fuck out of here, man. We got to get successful on motherfuckers. We got to start applauding one another. Oh, yeah. When we, when, when we go get down with that shit, we in the times of hate. Everybody hate everybody. Everybody looking for clout. Enough is enough, man. The fuck y'all niggas is out here doing, man? Like that shit really matter. The fuck out of here, man. Niggas is out here trying to do some dope shit. Niggas trying to set up shit for their kids so their kids' kids can live. Niggas trying to motherfucking make sure, nigga, that they can motherfucking afford a drink at the club this weekend, nigga. <laughs> He, motherfucking drinks is eighteen dollars. Motherfucking bitch, yo, dog. Went to the club the other night. I actually, yo, I was just like, for peace sake, um, you know, those Long Island iced teas is flowing. I'm thinking these shits is cheap as fuck. I asked this bitch, how much is a Long Island iced tea? This bitch said twenty dollars. I said, well, bitch, uh, can I do the borderline of Queens in Long Island? <laughs> The fuck are you talking about? Twenty dollars for a drink? Uh, uh, yeah, man. I just wanted. I want to take this time, man, and just tell you guys to go on to YouTube and subscribe, man. That's right, nigga. Ain't nothing to subscribe. Three minutes out of your time. What's our number at YouTube right now? We're up to five seventy. Get think. the fuck out of here. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Hey yo, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. It's crazy. Hey, yo, shout out to all you motherfuckers, man. I know everybody's super excited that they got their motherfucking um, Spartan 
firing squad motherfucking Patreon packages. Yeah, yeah. nigga hit nigga hit me up on Twitter asking if um do we sell those 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 stickers and shit? Nah, man. I, you know, that was one of the perks that you get with the um being a part of the Patreon. You know, you get dope shit. Yeah, man, though no, those stickers is dope, man. I want to just shout out our motherfucking illustrator Jonas. You know, uh, nigga, boy, you know that you know that 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 Jimmy Mars got a uh, a motherfucking uh, podcast, kind of kind of breed it from his idea and shit yeah. like that. The you membership know? cards too. Yep, yeah, yeah. Jonas, yeah. Jonas, we see you and our special agent over there, motherfucking Linus. And yours are on their way. Yes, they <laughs> are. Yes, they are. You bet. That Sweden address, I guess I messed it up. I don't know what, but we had we had some problems getting them. To but you them. know what? I just want to say this to everybody that um that's in um because we got chapters all over the world, yeah. kind of like type shit. You know what I mean? Um, if you guys are any, you know, in Russia and all of that wild shit, man, do us a favor, brothers and sisters. If you can DM us a picture of how it would look if somebody wrote a letter, okay, with your address so we get the visual so there's no mistakes. It's a one-shot deal sending y'all your packages and shit. Oh, I know we sent some shit out to Australia. Yep. That I, we didn't, we never got that return to send there, um, mm-hmm. so that shit may have touched down. You know what I mean? Um, we just, um, I just think, I just think it's some really dope shit, man. You know what I mean? Just on this podcast right now, you know, and we appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all. You know what I mean? Um, all across the board, man. Y'all the motherfuckers that keep the motherfucking uh, ship afloat, the coal in the engine, the fire burning. You know, uh, and we got two new we got two new patrons who just came on. Get uh, the week. fuck out of here! Stop lying! Shout out to uh, Rico Rincon and Ben Rodriguez, our, uh, our two newest patrons. Oh, uh, yo, you know, you know what, man? That is just some fucking phenomenal dope shit, man. You know. I'm 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 just gonna say this, homie. Like you know, nobody expected us to stick around this long. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The 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 the, the we started out with a a, a a dope team, and and then where those shit went down, and niggas departed. The shit almost fell apart, and 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 not for nothing, yo. I ain't gonna lie. This shit almost did. You know, dissemble. You know, and and G money. Pick the ball up, nigga, and motherfucking ran and ran for the end zone with it. And we're not in the end zone, not not yet, but nigga, we've got possession of the ball. And 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 w- that's because of you guys. There's all these other podcasts, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man, real nigga shit. I ain't got no gimmicks for y'all niggas. I, I tell y'all that all the time. I ain't got no shock, fake hate about racism and all that shit. You know, I ain't clout chasing. I'm just going to get it from the mud. If you niggas fuck with me, you fuck with me. If you don't, you don't. But I ain't breaking my neck to be no sellout, nigga. Be no fake motherfuckers. And that's why our core is growing. Mm-hmm. Our numbers may be weird on a, on a, uh, on a, the, 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 all of the outlets that they listen to it on and all that shit. But the Patreon is contradicting that shit. Because it's constantly growing. You know, all these other fucking podcasters out there that that, that want to talk shit, that, that, you know, that's doubting us, and that's the firing squad, my nigga, is really on some 300 shit. We may be a small, sufficient group, and we are a small, sufficient group, but we are motherfucking animals too, bro. We are monsters, and we will not be overlooked and 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 your captain, nigga, I'm a pillar in the community. I may not be no famous, nigga. And y'all already know how I feel about fame. I don't believe in that shit. But I'm a thorough nigga, and all of your all of your favorite stars are my constituents. So you know, go ahead with that whole shit, y'all. 
all my real motherfuckers, y'all know who y'all are. The niggas that be calling. The niggas that be retweeting. The motherfuckers that be liking. The motherfuckers that spreading the word about this. Y'all already know. To the rest of you niggas, suck dick. You want to go, go, go follow Kevin Brennan. Go listen to um, this, this old nigga yell for an hour and some change. We're, we're Brian P. McCarthy. You know when, when he's really a sweetheart. But, you know, wh- whatever gimmicks niggas got to use. You know, y'all niggas may think Luis Gomez is a racist, but he's not a racist, my nigga. He knows that's what y'all niggas bite into. That's what y'all feed into. So he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna utilize that. Me, nigga, I've always went against the motherfucking grain, man. I've always been a nigga that's been dolo, man. All my deuces, my own too. And now I got a motherfucking stin. A 10-star general that's ready to ride this shit all the way the fuck out with me, my nigga. And not only that, now I got a baby family, a baby family army, and we not having it. I'm so humbled to have you motherfuckers by my side, B. I'm so humbled to have to be the light to you motherfuckers, man. And I try to stay out of the darkness because y'all niggas know me, man. I'm still in these streets. But this shit is keeping me as righteous as possible. I try to I try to think about next Wednesday or next Tuesday when I'm caught up in the middle of some sucker shit. I'm trying not to leave y'all motherfuckers hanging out here, man. And I don't wanna I don't wanna be a fraud. I wanna be contradicting when I'm preaching out here. Yeah, I, my firing squad family. I'm so humbled and thankful for y'all niggas. Y'all don't y'all don't let niggas fuck with me on 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 social media. Y'all quick to bomb on these niggas. I got some fake clout chasing nigga, um, OVO cool flat or some shit like that. Nigga called me a star fucker, homie. You don't know shit about me. My nigga, because everybody, even my haters know, nigga. That's one thing about Jim. He don't give a fuck about who you are. But you just wanted to be mentioned on someone's podcast, nigga, that matters. But here's the real shit, dick sucker. Stop chasing, my nigga, and go and get yours. Because here's the real shit, dick sucker. You don't have to eat cum. You could be out here saving the community by eating pussy, my nigga. Get back on track. Find your way to the light. Star fucker. That comes from the Kevin Brennan um, side of shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yo, 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 nigga. I, I tell you, those Brennans... You know, but niggas don't know Kevin Brennan, the coolest Brennan out of them all. I don't know why everybody be praising Neil. The only reason why people praise Neil is because Neil at one time was the Chappelle's best friend. But I'm I'm not with none of that shit, yo. I'm not I don't play. I don't give a fuck who you are. I like yo, one time I thought Neil Brennan was trying to be um um shady but i realized he only got shady with me once i mentioned who his brother was mm-hmm. this was at an snl after party it's the night i i you know naomi campbell was there dog and, and i ain't gonna lie dog she kind of brushed her a butt up against my pelvis kind of going by me and you know you you can't do shit to niggas like that because we sickos in my mind i was like oh shit Yo, Naomi Campbell want me, bro. Hey, yo. But and then I tried to go and be in, in her eyes' view to make sure that what this bitch never acknowledged me again throughout the night. <laughs> Chappelle and everybody was hanging out with her. I was like, okay, that was all in your head, Jim. Put the liquor down, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but, nigga, <clears throat> Neil Brennan... He ever tried to 
disrespect me on any of that fly, I'll smack the shit out of him, bro. I'm not playing with that little boy, that grown-ass man boy. <laughs> that nigga got a boy body, bro. I'm not playing with him. You know, niggas, niggas will allow you to do what you allow them to do to you. But that whole nigga calling me a star fucker, yo, my nigga, check my pedigree and get your facts right. Stop cloud chasing. Fuck out of here, man. What I, what, um, I just, you know, since we on a, the whole addressing, you know, these cloud chasing whole niggas out here. Some, um, you know, there's recently been a post, okay, of uh, a comic that I personally do not know. He and I do not have a relationship. How Chappelle and I have one. How motherfucking Keith Robinson and I. How Kevin and I have one. You know, Brennan, Hart, motherfucking, how um, any of uh, Sherrod Smalls, Michael Che, any of my, you know, all of all my brothers, you know, Dave Attell, all of, Jim Norton, Rich Voss, Bill Burr, you know, all of these people, that I know, and I named all of those folks just to let y'all know, like, Artie's in that world. I've I've been in his presence, and we may have spoken, but it's never been more than three sentences, you know? So it's not like we have a relationship. We have an understanding with a decent rapport. Okay. So I saw that someone, uh, my, my, my homie, Russ Maneev, uh, Russ Beneve, I know he be calling niggers, niggers, dog, on the low. I know he gets around some of his white friends. He let that shit loose. <laughs> but that nigga Russ Beneve is one of the funniest niggas, and I'm lying. I'm, I'm lying. Russ, and he, he never giving me that vibe. He never. I'm just talking my shit, nigga. <laughs> you know, I like to play with that bullshit. But, yo, dog, I, you know what? Another thing is, Russ Beneve, is a very handsome man. This nigga should be on soap operas. Like, fucking One Life to Live or General Hospital. He could be a doctor. <laughs> Rushman Neve could be a fucking doctor on General Hospital. I, I, Dr. Sam Sampson uh, uh, or, or Dr. Polak. I don't know. He's got a real... Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my fucking God. Yeah, yeah. Rushman Neve, that's him. I mean, the, the older Rushman Eve now, the more mature, uh, uh, yeah, he's got a look about him. I'm sorry, man, but um, Rushman Eve is a really, really good friends with um, fucking uh, Dave Attell and um, Artie Lane, okay? Um, Pope, what's that boy? Out in, um, out in, uh, uh, Terpy Tom? Terpy Tom. Terpy motherfucker. I was going to tell Terpy Tom, Pope, I think that's what they call it, Indian, with, with, oh. with the Indian, um, Terpy Tom. This is the last of the Mohegans, nigga. S-O-S. <laughs> Immediately. Get that antidote. Get that antidote. But uh, listen to me, man. Niggas put up this motherfucking... Um, video of Artie Lane, you know, re-emerging to society, you know, with all his legal shit, um, working on a garbage truck for community service and shit like that, some some fan uh, recording him and shit like that, you know, and um, then, you know, Russman Eve um, posted it. And then at some point, I guess Artie saw it, and Artie posted it. It's Artie's people running his account. I don't think he uh, he uses it right now, but they they put that video up and saying like, "Yes, it's true." And then they talked to Artie and put up a little quote from him. And uh, really, but can we can we can we play this video, please? Yeah. Thanks, G Money. You're gonna keep this quiet, right? I'm sure. Absolutely. Right. I love you. No one will ever know. Take care. Take care. You know, 
when I saw that, 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 when I first saw the video, at first I didn't believe it was Artie, you know? It's like, what, the, why would, where, I thought he was in rehab or, you know, or inside, at, you know, I didn't think he was out in the world. Mm. And then I watched it all the way to the end. And that shit sent chills up my spine. See, some people looked at it as another milestone of failure for him. Okay? I put up a post that said, if anyone thinks that this is funny in any way, form, or fashion, something along those lines, you're sadly mistaken because real ones always bounce back. Some some idiots. I don't I don't understand how you misinterpret something, you know, like to anyone say, "Yo, this is funny." How do you? It, it is funny, you know. This is this, you know. I don't know how someone's demise or someone climb back to you know some sort of stature that they were at previous. For us to laugh at them, I just think that's bullshit, man. When he's done so much for so many people. You know, we as comics, man, we give ourselves endlessly. Bottomless pit. The rabbit's hole is forever going. Because... Of our void that we're dealing with inside. So we give that back to the people. Because filling their void fills ours. And for you guys to look at your, 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 your heroes, because that's what we are. Comics are like fucking X-Men, man. We're out here, dog. Misunderstood. But at the same time, very captivating. And, yeah. We wreck shit. We wrecking shit. But we do it all for the cause, man. So when I had a nigga say that this shit is funny, no, my nigga, it's not funny. I mean, it, it, in, a, in a sense, it's funny, you know, how Artie's dressed and shit like that. You know, you could tell he's upbeat and lively about it. But I'm talking about for the people that's praying for that man's demise. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about his fake fucking friends. See, let me get to where I'm going. I'm around that shit. And I see the niggas he be around, he, he, and ha ha and with, drugging out with. You niggas, this nigga fed y'all niggas when he had his show, bro. My nigga, this nigga was putting niggas on, man. And y'all niggas, instead of helping him, y'all yes manning him and himaging him hemorrhaging him from his fullest potential. I hope Artie understands. Like, those niggas you was around prior to your fucking downfall, bro, they're not your real friends. Any nigga that's gonna sit back and watch you fall, my nigga, not once, not twice, not three, not four, not five, just continuously. not your friend they don't have the best intentions for you some whole nigga called me a dummy saying I was stupid it is funny nah beloved nah beloved I have empathy for your soul because a real nigga know that's not funny and anybody that has a family member that's on drugs know 
that shit ain't nothing funny or nothing to be fucking laughing about. Because that affects every aspect of the family, bro. Play that video one more time. I want you to, I just want you to look at this video. And G Money, tell me what you see at the end of the video. Just give me what you see, and then I'm going to tell you what I see at the end of this video. What 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 the end of the video does for me, what it says to me. Such a fucking rock star. Look at him, man. Yeah, whenever you're ready, baby. I, I pressed it. I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh, okay. Oh. You know. Well, then fuck it. You know? I, I don't know what happened, buddy. You know what I mean? G-Money's having a little technical difficulties over here, everybody. Maybe it's got something to do with his eight-year-old Disney Sun and Surf shirt. It's a, it's a baseball tournament shirt. Oh. I played in that tournament oh. when I was 14. Oh. Eight-year-olds. They may have only. They may have sold this one for the eight-year-olds. <laughs> if you guys can see this picture, we might have to take a picture of this shirt <laughs> and post it up on fucking Instagram so you guys can see, like, if this is an eight-year-old shirt or not. I don't. You know. I don't, listen, man. It is what it is, man. But when I saw that video, all right, and at the end of the video, what I saw was. This motherfucker could be one of those motherfucking off-brand greats like Lenny Bruce. You know, like Andrew Dice Clay, his story's going to be fucking phenomenal. You know what I mean? Like a uh, 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 Sam Kinnis. Um, he's he's one of those, man. Yeah. You know, like he's one of those, man. He's You guys only respect us when we're dead. And that's crazy. Why why are you gonna why would you pay why would you why would you show gratitude to someone that's not here to receive it? Instead of encouraging their light while they're here so they can inspire others to have that light. It's a it's a cycle that we have to get into. We have to break that of the cycle of hate. To get into this cycle of dopeness, man. You found it? Oh, shit. Yeah, I think so. Oh, shit. G-Money found it, everybody. Look at Artie Lane, man. If you guys, if, if you're a firing squad member and you, 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 you're you on social media, go to Artie Lane's page and send him some motherfucking support from the firing squad, man. Just let him know. That, you know, we still here. You know what I mean? Like I said, my G's, I don't really know the homie like that. But real nigga shit, I, I, I'm I, not laughing at none of these situations. You know what I mean? I know what it's like to be down, my nigga. And niggas to be trying to make a mockery of you. I know what it is. You know? But never mind all that shit, man. You know, what else we got? What else we got in the world, man? Oh, oh, hell yeah, nigga. You just popped that up, nigga. Game of Thrones. I don't know if that nah, 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 is it really that part like that, but something like that. But nigga, Game of Thrones, who, who? Yeah, yeah, I don't give no spoilers out. You know what I mean? Because you know some niggas work for five days and come home and have that shit DVR'd. So he, you know, they be they just may be listening to you know the podcast to, to hold them over until they get back home. You know, shout out to all the COs that's up there working their shifts, man. I just want to shout out my motherfucking homies, man. I had some dope-ass COs when I was in mid-state, my nigga. I ain't going to even hold you up. 
motherfucking uh, motherfucking scratch. <laughs> See on scratch, baby. I told you I knew Patrice O'Neill. I told you I was a real one, nigga. I told you I was who I said I was. Officer Williams. Uh, there was a tall, leaky uh, officer that was, I forgot his name. Funny motherfucker, man. Um, uh, shit. Uh, Officer James, crazy ass. <laughs> uh, Officer Keeley and motherfucking Mid State. Uh, there's some fucking characters there, man. There was this one CEO that used to pick on me all the time, trying to send me to the box, get me on phone restriction, all that sucker shit. You know, shout out to all the C- the, the dope ass CEOs that's out there just doing their gu- job, eight in the gate. You know what I mean? Not doing no more, not doing no less. You know what I mean? And um, to all you COs up there that's doing the wrong thing, fuck you niggas. Hope you niggas die slow by fucking those raw animals up there with no condoms. I hope you get measles and herpes, you foul motherfuckers. Y'all niggas don't know what goes on behind those motherfucking fences and walls. There's some dirty-ass COs, bro. These niggas will cuff you up, fuck you up, and say that you attack them. On some real ho shit, man. But there was some real dope ones up there, too. So, I, I, you know, I can't sit there, man. Uh, Sergeant Hawk. Yeah, that, he looked just like a hawk, too. <laughs> Swear to God. Uh, Officer uh, Nevins. He, he had a dad that was a dickhead. But his son, white boy, white boy, his son, hood. Did a motherfucker, bro. He's the black sheep of the family. Him and his dad didn't talk. They, they, they used to switch shifts, and they wouldn't even communicate with each other, bro. He would let us watch motherfucking BET until late hours, like until 2, 2.30 in the morning, until the next motherfucking captain walk or something. Like, yo, he was a dope-ass nigga, dog. There was some dope COs, man. It was some dope COs, man. But yeah, man, it was a lot of wild shit out there. It was a lot of wild shit out there, man. What, 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 what? Now, you know, I always talk about, I always talk a little bit about my jail experiences and shit like that, my nigga. You know, like, because it's a part of my history, nigga. You know, um, there used to be this um CO named um Officer Williams, and. She, she used to um, show me love in the visiting room, you dig? Uh, I used to have this chick called uh, Mia Sean come over, come visit me up in, uh, up, uh, up, 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 up top. And anybody that was sitting with their kids around me, their kids were growing up. I used to have Shorty pick the Candyland ga- box, uh, which she used to... <laughs> We used to take the candy land board and try to use it as much of a shield as possible, bro. Had her mopping this top off in the back row. Seat 17, nigga. Uh, one time I laced her behind the motherfucking the, the panel where the, the CEO's supposed to be sitting in the back looking at just supposed to be a CO in the front and in the back of the room. It's just CO's in the front. I'm in the back lacing this chick. <laughs> there used to be this uh this kid with this big head. Like um what what's that movie that Will Farrell played in as a cartoon, Mega Mega Head or Mega Mind? So, Mega Mind. The nigga head was shaped like that, and he was mad bony, bro. <laughs> yes, my nigga. Yes. He used to hold me down. I used to slide that chick and Mia into the motherfucking uh, bathroom. Lace <laughs> She would go out, coast clear, then I would slide out. I think Scratch caught me a couple of times and just didn't say nothing, nigga. I mean, one time. <laughs> Officer Williams told me, nigga, yo, <laughs> we're getting we're getting re- reports about you. You know, you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta bring it down a little bit. And I was just like, all right, say no more. And sure enough, I did not bring it down, not one bit, bro. When you locked away, bro, you 
come on, son. It's it's so much masturbation you can do. There is nothing that 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 can ever be in my world that will make a nigga pretty enough for me to want to fuck him. You know, I just, you know, I, it just nah. I got a great imagination, nigga. I can I I got a lot of dope experiences with bitches. I can hold off. I can hold off. I got a good ten flat of database in my brain, dog. Okay, I'm just. I'm just saying. <laughs> what you think you got, G buddy? What does ten flat mean? Oh, it means ten years, my nigga. <laughs> that, <laughs> the little white boy said, "What does? <laughs> I don't understand that. That math doesn't equate into my world. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> nah." <laughs> It's all good, man. But I was talking about Officer Williams because Officer Williams told me one day she was just talking to a bunch of us after, you know, our visitors were leaving, we're waiting to leave. And she was just talking about how she used to work in a female jail and how female jails are more wilder and crazier than any other fucking male jail all female jails is super fucking crazy and there's nothing yo when she said that i'm kind of like thinking about like how could it be you know niggas with all this testosterone around each other you know it's like bowls you know some shit shit's go pop but then she would talk about the shit that women are entitled to in jail and that they will be using as weapons. She said one time a girl defended herself with a bloody maxi pad. And by Nick, <laughs> she commenced to whooping her fucking uh, assailant's ass by keeping her hands at bay with the bloody maxi pad. <laughs> you hear me? I was just like, that's some real nasty shit. My, but, you know, they be busting each other in the head with all kind of wild shit. Like, yo. But then, you know, we ran across this video of these bitches fighting. And I'm going to tell you something. This is the first time in history I've ever seen some shit like this, bro. And I'm under the, I, nigga, I am a believer that, you know what? Maybe women are the most violent creatures on earth. And we're, 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 we as men are just so fucking arrogant and naive, thinking we're superior because we're stronger. You know, you know just because of the physical dynamics, not knowing that these are some real barbaric creatures if they're pushed to the limit. <laughs> Nigga, look at this girl fight right here. This bitch bit her in the pussy. <laughs> this shut her operation whoop ass down. Because she was whooping her ass until she, first of all, when I first ran into the video, I came in at the end where the bitch was biting her pussy. And then I was just like, first of all, how do you get down there to the point where you can, oh, you know what? Oh, she about to punch me in my face. Oh, I'm just going to go low. I'm about to bite her pussy. Is that was the plan? Did, was this planned? Or did this shit just happen? Press play, G-Money. Let's see what the fuck is going on here. Ooh. That is opera. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Yo, 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 take that shit from the top again, my nigga. Because what happened to that same energy she had from the beginning when she was whooping her ass? Go ahead, yo. Oh. 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 Oh.
Why does he say ay, 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 ay? What the you know they Spanish when when that I I I Let me tell you something nigga <laughs> I, I I remember I used to fuck this Spanish chick named Karen. Nigga. Her eye was so fire <laughs> that I that shit was so fire, nigga. I'm a nigga that could fuck for a strong hour and a half, two hours. No, no bullshit. And this is not even. I'm not even busting my first nut. This is just. Me juice barred man down. Okay? Man down, ready for action. I'm I'm good for an hour and a half too. But she go, you know, if if it's if it's a windy day, she won't have to worry about the sweat. But if it's a humidity day, she's gonna be in the in a baby pool <laughs> of some sweat, bro. You might need some scuba gear. Because we gonna be here for a minute, dog. Scuba and a snicker. But fucking Karen's, I, I, her I, her I, nigga. I don't know if niggas ever watch those Spanish chicks with those I. And that's normally when a nigga girthed up. When a nigga's girthed up and he's entering that Spanish festival, that Spanish IE festival. Yeah, man. Shout out to the Spanish community, man, for having some of the sexiest words during sex, nigga. Word, <laughs> yo, nigga, I that shit fire, poppy, fire. Yo, I mean, I mean that 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 combo, that combo right there, <laughs> nigga. I don't need no fries. I don't need no soft drink. Nothing. Just give me the motherfucking I and poppy. I'm Gucci, bitch. Don't lead off a poppy and hit me with the eye. Oh, I'm releasing, dog. <laughs> I'm releasing. I ain't, I ain't one of these niggas out here pretending I got a pullout game. I don't even fight that life. I just straight relax. Yeah, we going to have this moment. Relaxation, nigga. Word. Nah, man. But she bit that bitch in her pussy. <laughs> when she initially screamed, <laughs> that bitch looked at the wall. <laughs> and her <laughs> went to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the Spanish community, man. Don't you see why we need each other? Yo, my nigga, let me tell you something. Let me tell you about I and Poppy, dog. I ain't poppy done crossed over motherfucking racial barriers, dog. I had a white chick try to hit me with the I ain't poppy before. I fuck yeah. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know where the fuck yeah came from with the I, but that, that, add that. Add that. <laughs> add that. <laughs> hey, yo, that I fuck yeah. Oh, you're my fucking poppy. You're my fucking poppy. Yes, you are. Yeah, let me tell you something, man. Yo, dog, this is why I love Baskin Robin women, man. I love the flavors, B. Each woman got that motherfucking way to make a nigga dome. I'm, I'm, I'm not lying, but yo, son, like, you know... Yo, dog, that Baskin Robbins, different flavors. Chinese chicks, too. I used to fuck this chick named Susan. Her pussy, I used to call her pussy the Great Walls, my nigga. I think we talked about her before. Me and Luis Gomez used to fuck her. 
dead serious. Luis Gomez was the one that passed off to me. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I remember one time this bitch had me out of her house in Queens. Her family was supposed to be on a vacation, nigga. Homie, we fucking in her mom's and pop's geisha room, okay? <laughs> nigga, she heard locks and shit. I'm t- this bitch got up, looked me in my eyes, and yelled, Godzilla! She didn't say Godzilla, but she, she module said that. This bitch had me under her fucking feet. Fuzzy, scuzzy bed with mad lint in my sweaty body, <laughs> my sweaty butt naked body under her bed, hiding from her parents and her sisters. Yo, nigga, I had so much lint, um, Chinese New Year dragon <laughs> stuff on me. And yo, I'm not bullshitting you, dog. I'm dead serious. This is a true story. This is a true. Actually, Luis Gomez. I told him about this shit, nigga. That bitch was, cr- yo, son, and and it wasn't like, it was in the, yo, homie, it was so hot in her apartment in Queens, my nigga, <laughs> and yo, son, it was so hot in that bitch, so on top of me busting her walls, okay, and the, 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 the exercise I'm getting from that, my nigga, Her crib had project heat, man. Y'all niggas don't know about that project heat. That project heat is like, that shit is an anesthesia, nigga. That shit leave you numb, put you down. That shit is Benadryl. I fell asleep under this bitch bed, nigga. <laughs> Butt naked with bad lint and shit up. When I came out of that, up from under her bed, the bitch woke me up. <laughs> I got from under that bed, mad lint <laughs> on my dick and shit like that, my balls and my chest. And, uh, and I was fat during that time, so I was like a lenty out. <laughs> Yo, my nigga. Oh, man, son. You don't know, nigga. You don't know, nigga. I'm trying to tell you something, bro. I done been through it all, son. Well, she used to hit me with the oi, 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 poppy. I was like, whoa, whoa. There's nothing y'all doing. Y'all culture that pop. <laughs> First of all, where did you get this from? <laughs> you know, I, 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 but, you know, she had her own flavor with it. And then, you know, homie, you got the sisters, man. Yeah, nigga. You got the sisters. My nigga, remember one time I was in Marcy's project, B. Homie, this chick used to work for this uh, car service called Carmo out here. Six, 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 some shit like that. And, um, you know, we met on the street and all that shit. Kicked it a couple of times. She was a receptionist for it, you know, dispatcher, whatever. Came through a couple of times, you know, let me open it up. But my nigga, I mean, one time we was in her crib and her grandmother was up, so I couldn't come in the crib. I came all the way out to Brooklyn, Marcy Projects, nigga. 11th floor, bro. No elevator that day. Yeah, that's just straight cardio. <laughs> to find out your grandmother's up. And you know what her grandmother was up doing? Watching a marathon of MASH. <laughs> Nigga. First of all, I don't even want to be in there. I don't want to get drowsy. MASH makes you drowsy instantly. But, bro, she would not let me retreat undefeated. 
She took me into those staircases, my nigga. And I'll never forget it with a Denver Nugget throwback fitted hat turned to the back and domed me out in the staircase between the 11th and 12th floor. My nigga, that's the first time I ever took my all my pants off, my nigga, <laughs> in the stairwell and got domed. And I had on some high top socks, some high top Wu-Tang socks. Dead serious. Black with the motherfucking yellow Wu-Tang symbol, W. I'm, I'm That was my life, my nigga. Or the black tee. Butt naked in the motherfucking stairwell and Marcy Projects <laughs> with high top Wu Tang socks getting domed from a chick where the Denver Nuggets fitted, turned back, throwback, talking about, mmm, mmm, yeah, Poppy, mmm. Mm. Oh, I do you, ma? <laughs> See, it all sounds good. Either which way, we got to give back to the Spanish community, man. They've done so much for us. They've done so much for us, man. Women are evil, though. This cat fight, look at this poor baby. This woman knew she was wrong for doing this shit. But she did this shit right here, man. She going to take out, because she get her ass whooped by her, the, the kid's mom, so she going to assault the little kid, p- kick him right in the dick. Play <laughs> play video, G, buddy. No, 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 con el niño no se meta, eh, enseño. Con el niño no se esté metiendo. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, take that shit from the top. Why she stopped the fight? And why did the lady not defend her cub? She stood there to see what the fuck was going to happen. Yo, play that shit, B. Hey yo, yo, stop. No, 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 no. Stop. It was like an NFL fake punt play. <laughs> like, hey, we're going to pass. Nope, we're going to punt. <laughs> And that bitch turned around and punched the fuck out of his little wee-wee. He ain't even got a dick. He got a wee-wee. You remember you used to have a wee-wee, nigga? Yo, take it from the top, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Fake punt. Punt. No, 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 no. Con el niño no se meta, eh, señor. Con el niño no se esté metiendo. I don't even know. I don't even know what my man is saying in that, you know, but you know what? Which brings me to my next thing right here. You know, I really think that this is some real shit, y'all. I think I was talking to G Money about this uh, about a week and a half ago, maybe a couple of weeks. I think that I want to come out with a Spanish sounding album. That's right. You heard me correctly. Spanish sounding album. My Spanish name would be Javier El Doso. <laughs> Javier El Doso. With songs like Monier. Oh no, Monier, no. Ya no manesina, ena, ona. Ya no estiminto, amona estimanto. Ayente asinito mi am. Fancinta. Oh, Fancinta. Oh, Fancinta. 
cita y anto en amita y anto en esita. Smash hit songs like Santurio. Santurio! Santurio! The hit single, Madonado. Oye Madonado, Oye Madonado, Oye Madonna, Oye Madonna, Oye Madonado, Oye Madonado, Oye Madonna, Oye Madonna, Atamanado, Atamanado, Aye, 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 Santurio Madonado Remix. Santurio Marinado, Mariano, Manarando, Orio. Mariando, Mariando. I'm telling you, I think I may be on. I think I may be on to something, man. Javier. What's my last name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what my Spanish-sounding last name is. My artist Spanish-sounding name is Javier something. Guys, remind me. This shit just comes off the top of my head. I don't know. But, <laughs> yo, you know what's a sin? These fucking pants this guy is wearing that trick daddy rolls up on. Yo, what the fuck is up with niggas, yo? When did we start wearing our female pants, B? When do your niggas feel comfortable with your dicks and your balls stuck on one side together, nigga? Your butt cheeks and all on one, your both butt cheeks on one side. You fuck, you fuck, you you fucking weirdo, nigga. I don't want to be glancing, thinking that I just saw a bitch and it's a nigga. You know, by glance you get caught up by it. you fuck. What the fuck you out here catfishing niggas for with fucking bitch jeans? Play that shit, G-Money. <laughs> hey. Uh-uh. Hey, uh-uh. Uh-uh. What kind of pants do you mean? Yeah, where you got them from? Chico. <laughs> Yo, stop, 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 stop. How you not remember where you got the tightest pants in your fucking wardrobe from, bro? How you not remember, nigga? This nigga said, who, me? And then he gonna start trying to baggy up his fucking tight ass. These fucking yeast infection G. This nigga got a yeast infection on his balls. Yo, start that shit over, nigga. Hey, hey, homie, <laughs> what kind of pants do you mean? These? Yeah, where you got them from? I don't even remember. What you drink? You killing them shit, dog. What's up? You killing them pants. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Trick, I see you. All right. Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> dog. Get the fuck out of here, dog. You know, he's not just disrespecting himself. You know who else he's disrespecting? Come on, man. Our homie right here. I don't know where this little white boy is, but this is some real game he just threw at this bitch. Check this shit out. I don't think you're You're disrespecting disrespecting a future U.S. Army soldier. Hey, yo, that nigga told the bitch you're disrespecting a future U.S. Army soldier. I'm going to start talking. I'm telling bitches straight up from now on. Hey, yo, bitch, you disrespecting the future New York Ranger Goldie right now, bro. Are you serious right now? Are you bugging right now, shorty? Get the fuck out of here, yo. Hey, yo, my niggas, yo, yo, y'all bugging. Y'all better start using that. That's new game right there. And that's that nigga, like, probably 
13, 12 years old? Yo, yo, play that shit again, nigga. <laughs> You're just respecting a future U.S. Army soldier. Fire in the hole! Yeah, nigga. Yeah. We out of here, motherfuckers. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the firing squad. Shout out to G Buddy. And it's your motherfucking captain, Jimmy Martinez. Follow us on motherfucking Instagram, motherfucking Twitter. Fire the whole NY. Subscribe, YouTube. 5150, Legion of Skank, Burning Bridges, Race One. We in this bitch. Subscribe.